This is News on China in two minutes. Argentine President Alberto Fernandez makes his first official Beijing visit during the Olympics. The Latin American country joins the Belt and Road Initiative and aims to increase its exports to China. Argentina and China announce economic cooperation agreements worth $23.7 billion. The agreements will increase investment in strategic sectors such as energy and infrastructure. Presidents Xi and Putin release a joint statement after the much anticipated meeting in Beijing. China and Russia affirm common opposition to NATO expansion and Taiwan independence. The country signed 15 cooperation agreements with emphasis on energy and agricultural trade. Putin says ties between the two nations have reached unprecedented historical levels. China breaks new ground in using low-carbon technologies at Beijing Winter Olympics. Carbon dioxide emissions would be a third less than previous games in South Korea. The games use wind power and more than 800 hydrogen-powered vehicles. China's 14th five-year plan considers hydrogen one of the six industries of the future. Gu Ailing, China's 18-year-old free skier, wins gold at the Winter Olympics. The U.S.-born athlete of Chinese descent joined Team China in 2019 to promote the sport. U.S. media has accused the athlete of being a traitor for representing China in the Games. Gu has been widely welcomed in China, inspiring millions of women and youth. Subscribe to News on China at dongshangnews.org.